Grade 5 Math, number 8.6, Fractions, Problem Solving, Fraction Riddle, Math Fun. We're going to make a table or a chart. You're going to have fun with this one. Here's our riddle. If a chicken and a half can lay an egg and a half in a day and a half, how many eggs can six chickens lay in six days? Is that confusing? All right, so here's our drawing to help us. We have a chicken and a half laying an egg and a half in one and a half days. Okay? So we're going to make a table to solve this. All right? This is actually a proportions problem that you could do in sixth or seventh grade. Okay? So here's our table. We've got our chickens, our eggs, and our days. And this is what we're given. That one and a half chickens can do one and a half eggs in one and a half days. So we have that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to double our chickens. And by doubling our chickens, we now have three chickens that are laying eggs, but on the same one and a half days. We didn't double the days, okay? So the days don't increase, but because we doubled the chickens, the eggs are going to double. Now we're going to double the amount of chickens again, because remember, we're trying to get to six chickens in six days, okay? So by doubling the chickens again, we are now at our six chickens. We double the chickens means the eggs are now double again. So they're at six. But we're still at one and a half days, okay? We need to get to six days. So now we've doubled the chickens and then doubled them again. Now we're going to double the days. So the amount of chickens are going to stay the same. We're keeping the six chickens. But because we doubled the days, the amount of eggs are going to double. See that? To get to the six days, we double the days again. We still have the six chickens. Because we doubled the days again, the eggs are going to double again. So now we've got six chickens in six days, and they've laid 24 eggs. Isn't that something? Now, this worked because we took turns doubling the different amounts. We didn't double them all together because that won't work. You have to double the chickens and then double the days and just let the eggs follow. See? It actually works out to one chicken lays two eggs in three days. Or one chicken lays two-thirds of an egg each day. Those are fractions. If you want to play this again or try pausing it to really take a look at this, feel free. But we're going to be moving on to algebra and patterns next. See you there. Chapter 9. Bye.